Building a gaming PC on a very tight budget can feel like an impossible task. The fear of ending up with a machine that can barely handle modern games is real, and the struggle to balance performance with affordability is daunting. But what if we told you that you could actually build a gaming PC that can run popular titles like GTA V, Valorant, Fortnite, Cyberpunk 2077, and Call of Duty Warzone without spending a fortune? Yes, you heard that right. Today, we're going to show you how to put together an ultra-cheap gaming PC that doesn't just meet your gaming needs, but exceeds them at a price point that might surprise you. So stick around and let's get started. Let's start with the heart of our build, the processor. For this build, we've chosen the AMD Ryzen 5 4600G, which comes with an integrated GPU. Priced at just $104, this processor offers a perfect balance between performance and affordability. With 6 cores and 12 threads, it's powerful enough to handle multitasking and gaming simultaneously. The integrated Radeon graphics means you won't need a separate graphics card, saving you a significant chunk of change. It's more than capable of running GTA V and Valorant at 1080p on medium settings, which delivers a smooth experience without the added cost of a discrete GPU. But wait, there's more. If you're looking to pinch every penny, consider the AMD Athlon 3000G. It's not as powerful, but at around $50, it'll get you gaming for even less. You might also consider the Ryzen 3 3200G. While it's a bit older and less powerful, it still offers decent gaming performance for around $80. Moving on to the foundation of our build, the motherboard. We're going with the ASRock A520M HDV for $68. It's not flashy, but it gets the job done. It supports up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, has PCIe 3.0 slots, and plenty of ports for your peripherals. While it's not the most feature-packed motherboard on the market, it provides exactly what's needed for a budget build. If you're looking to cut costs further, look into the Gigabyte GAA 320M or A's Rock, a 320M. They are often available for nearly $50 and still provide decent functionality for your budget build. Powering your system efficiently is crucial, which brings us to the Cooler Master GX3 power supply. At $119, this unit is a bit of a pricey purchase for a budget build but it's fully modular, highly efficient, and built to last. The 80 plus gold certification means it's energy efficient, which could save you money on electricity in the long run. However, if you're looking to trim the fat even more, consider the EVGA 500W1 or the Thermal Take Smart 500W. These units often go for around $40 to $50 and will still power your budget build without breaking a sweat. Just remember, don't compromise too much on your power supply. It's the unsung hero of your PC, and a good one can save you headaches down the road. Storage-wise, we're rolling with the S10 1512GB SSD for $27. It's not the fastest SSD out there, but it'll give you snappy boot times and decent game load speeds without costing a lot. At this price point, you're getting a good balance of capacity and speed. If you need more storage down the line, you can always add a cheap HDD for your less frequently accessed files. The crucial 8GB DDR4 RAM is an absolute steal at $19. While 8GB might seem a bit low by today's standards, it's enough to handle most games, especially at 1080p. The 3200MHz speed ensures that your system can keep up with the demands of modern titles without bottlenecking. For those who might have a little extra room in their budget, upgrading to 16 gigabytes of RAM would provide a noticeable improvement in performance, particularly in more demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077. To keep our CPU chilling, we've got the Dark Rock PX4 air cooler for a cool $16. Despite its low price, it offers good cooling performance and is relatively quiet, and we must say it's a big plus in a budget build. The included fan is sufficient for the Ryzen 5 4600G, which ensures your CPU stays within safe temperatures, even under load. For an even cheaper option, you could stick with the stock cooler that comes with the Ryzen processor, though the Dark Rock offers better cooling efficiency. For our PC's home, we're going with the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L at $39. 
It's compact, has decent airflow, is easy to work with, and won't make your wallet cry. While this case is already a budget option, if you're looking to spend even less, keep an eye out for cases like the Rosewill FBMX1 or the Thermaltake Versa H15. These often dip below $30 and can still provide adequate cooling and enough space for all your components. Keep in mind that a case is more than just looks. Good airflow can help your components last longer and perform better. Don't be afraid to spend a few extra bucks here if you can. Our ultra-budget gaming PC comes in at a grand total of $392. That's right, for less than the price of a new console, you've got yourself a capable gaming PC that can handle popular titles and everyday tasks. But here's the kicker. If you follow some of our cost-cutting suggestions, you could potentially bring this build down to around $300. That's less than what some people spend on their smartphones. Remember, this PC isn't just about gaming. It's a full-fledged computer that can handle work, school, and entertainment. Try getting a console to do all that. So, it's proof that with a little know-how and some smart shopping, anyone can join the PC gaming world. Now, what are you waiting for? It's time to start building and get gaming. Thanks for watching our video. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.